week three of playing in the dirt. Come along and see what's growing. Well, hello, welcome back to the homestead. Today, we're gonna go over week three and see what's been growing around the homestead. Here's my huge pile of compost and I started some potatoes in there. Well, the rain held off. It's supposed to storm really bad tonight and have some tornado watches, but I was able to build three more beds. I do need to get compost in them. I was able to get one with some spent straw and I do have to get the rest out of the goat pen to fill up halfway. And then I will have Jeremy take the bobcat and put the compost in. three and I did do something this week I took this bed right here and I had those red onions seedlings that I got from tractor supply and I did leave them in water too long on the counter so I came out here and I put them down and then we've had torrential rain I did take some uh, cabbage and some arugula and transplant it and I've been putting big huge fence panels on top so Bonnie doesn't get it until I could figure out what I'm going to do about fencing. Like I said, it's really hard in the rock to do fencing. This is what I've done in my long brassica beds just to try to keep Bonnie out. We are on day 21. So right here is Swiss chard. It's supposed to be 45 days to harvest. Not quite sure how that's going to work out. This is cauliflower, 65 days to harvest. Like I said, we're on day 21. Right here is broccoli. Now broccoli is supposed to be 55 days to harvest. It's got a lot of growing to do in the next 20 something days. Here is kale, 50 days to harvest. Like I said, we're on day 21. Here's spinach. Spinach is a 40 to 50 day to harvest. This is beets. Beets are 55 to 60 days to harvest. Here is the arugula. It's 40 days to harvest and we're on day 21. Iceberg lettuce and red sail. days. This right here was supposed to be bush beans, but they're taking forever to come up. They were the Cherokee yellow. Here is the old homestead beans. They're finally coming up. It's been three weeks and they've just started coming up this past week. I have this trellis here for them. Here is Dragon Tongue at week three. They're getting beautiful little leaves. Here's a Royal Burgundy. These are beans. And then that should be a blue shell pea. Right here, these few. Chard is at 45 days to harvest. Here is kale. I don't know if you can see them very well. That is kale. And that's at 50 days to harvest. Day 21 still. And here's kohlrabi. It's pretty, isn't it? Kohlrabi did not have a day to harvest uh, from Baker's Creek. I noticed that none of the Baker's Creek had any days to harvest. Here is radish. Radish is 23 to 30 days. So we're at day 21. I'm willing to just maybe dig this one up and see. This is 23 to 30. Let's see. Just roots, just roots. Nothing on those radishes yet. Here are some of my onions that I got from MI Gardener. Yellow and red, they just started to come up. Here is beets. Beets are 55 to 60 day. And then here's some Kale. 
Again, kale is 50 days. Chard, got a lot of chard. Here is cabbage. Cabbage is 65 days. This is Butter Crunch. Butter Crunch again is from Baker's Creek and it did not have a how many days to harvest. So I'll just go off the other lettuces. They're about 50 days. So day 21 in. Spinach, some more spinach. I know I did it on the other side. They're 40 to 50 days. Here is my Walla Wallas that we've been talking about the past few weeks. They are doing amazing. After a little mishap, from Miss Bonnie. They're doing great, missing a couple in some spaces, but it's all right. And here's the hole that she dug. And some of my carrots are coming up. And carrots are 60 day. So I'm not gonna touch those. This week I plan on filling in the rest of the beds. Um, I do have tons of open beds, but it's because I'm gonna be putting my tomatoes and peppers. I grew a lot. I just did an extra um, huge six pack lot of tomatoes and then one whole one of peppers. I hope to have enough to share with all my friends and family. I know that we are on day eight of this quarantine and lockdown. They're talking about um, ending school for the rest of the year. It's pretty serious. I hope that I can provide enough fresh vegetables to share. I know that is going to come with its own problems, like the worms or the squash bugs. Thing. So hopefully I have enough to share. I also started some crooked neck squash, some yellow squash, three different varieties of cucumbers, eggplant. Let's see what else. Oh, some hot peppers. I do plan on starting some more of the rare cucumbers. I just need to get more trellises up. And then I have some fun stuff like loofah or birdhouse gourds for the kids. I also today, hasn't happened yet, but I wanted to start doing some sunflowers. I thought about just um, digging a big, huge, long trench with a hoe and then just taking the sunflower seeds that I get for my animals. Hopefully they'll grow. It's just the little black ones. Um, and just making a big, long row of sunflowers back by the back of my house. So when we look out the window, we see the beauty and hopefully it'll provide a whole bunch of seeds that I could feed to the goats and the chickens. Something I've been thinking about is cabbage and cauliflower and broccoli. Have you ever grown them before? I haven't. Although we love them and I do buy them at the store, it just seems that they do take a lot longer to grow and they take up so much space in the gardens. Um, I did start my potatoes in big pots. You can see them right there behind me. I do need to uh, bring them over here. I'm gonna put them on pallets back behind the garden here. As you can see, these beds are empty. This is one that I built today. Another one that I built today. The one that Bonnie keeps digging in. Poor little onions. And then this one, I put this on here to keep her out, but there you go, paw prints. Let's go inside and see what I have in my six pack cells. Such a dreary day out here on the ranch. Not so cold, maybe 60, windy though, and just in between storms. And like I said, tonight's gonna storm. They're talking about tornadoes possibly. We do have a tornado shelter. It is above ground. It's not in the ground like a bunker, like some people are claiming they have a bunker. Um, it's just a tornado shelter. If I had a bunker tornado shelter, I'd probably use it as a root cellar. I don't see anyone here in Oklahoma. We're on the northeast side of Oklahoma, just south of Tulsa. I don't ever see anybody having root cellars around here. It's probably because nobody has basements because of all the rock and the red clay. Here is week two on all my inside vegetables. These I started because our frost date, we're in 7B, I believe, and our frost date is April 15th. Don't mind that crazy kid screaming, it's Fortnite. Fortnite screams. So, um, here are some of my cucumbers. These are yard longs.
These are Market More. These are Straight Eight. These are Yellow Crooked Net Squash right here. They're so similar to the cucumber, see that? But they are variegated. And this is Yellow Squash. This is Crooked Neck. And here is Zucchini. Zucchini has a lot bigger leaf compared to the squash, see it? Okay. Here we got Chocolate Beauty Peppers. That is just a mixed pepper. Bell pepper, green pepper. Here's three different eggplants. See, they're really little. That one's just now coming up. Let's see what that one is. I'm sorry, that's basil. Basil takes a long time. Here is my cream berries. Not impressed on how little these seedlings are. I know that they're long and leggy because I don't have a light on top of them and I'm just using the window. Um, but that's what I got. Here is those Brad's Atomic Grape. Red currant cherry tomato. Look how little they are. They're so little. This is the ones I'm excited about, the blueberries, and then here's the cream berries. Again, very leggy. They're starting to bring up their second set of leaves. These are the leaves from the seeds, and that's their second set. Let's see here. Floridad, Black Prince, Black Creme, Trophy, Triple L Crop. This is that Was Pinnacon Peach. Those are the yellow ones. Pineapple Tomatoes, Cherokee Purple, Mr. Stripey, Silver Fur, Big Rainbow, and Romas. Today on day eight of quarantine, I started, that whole tray is more of all those tomato varieties and this whole tray is all bell peppers. And that is some onions that I started inside. So there's a lot of growth this week, um, you know, from here to there, still minimal. I'm excited about the next like three weeks because then they'll have more leaves and be growing taller uh, towards the sun. I do need to get a light on my seedlings that I have in the house so they're not so leggy. Um, I read that you could put them in a dark closet for a few days with absolutely no light. And what happens is they start to kind of die off and get smaller and shrink. But what happens is they're not leggy anymore. They get a thick, bulkier stalk, and then you bring them back, you start doing the light, and then they grow. Also on the peppers, I've done a lot of research, and on the peppers, you're supposed to let it grow, four, five, six, seven, eight leaves, and then the top one that's growing out, you cut. And what happens is you cut it so it doesn't get tall, you want it to be a little bushier because when you cut the top of the pepper uh, plant off, then the little shoots that come out the side, they will create more shoots at the V wherever the, the pepper um, leaf comes off and then more shoots will come out on the sides, get stockier, bigger, bushier, and that's more opportunity for more peppers to grow. So I've done a lot of peppers and a lot of tomatoes, like I said. I hope to be able to share with all my friends and family. If you like my content, or if you have any suggestions on anything that you wanna see around the farm, please comment below. Let me know what you like. Let me know what you're interested. Let me know what you don't like. Um, if you do like it, please subscribe, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and please stay safe. Bye.